Chief Meteorologist Bill Kelly in the next weather virtual studio with a look at how long it lasts. Good thing they weren't flying last week. <laughs> sure. A couple of those days it would have been dodging and the storms now. It was beautiful and yeah, and I was looking at that video too. that beautiful blue sky that's going around. It's not just the blue sky. It's the clean air. It's the comfortable temperatures. It's the low humidity and tonight folks out and about not as many actually not a single person on this camera. There was there were a few out there. Uh, Ocean City Boardwalk I actually took my girls to uh, uh, Long Beach Island on Sunday morning just had a beautiful sunrise, you know, went out there a few clouds Sunday morning, but yeah, the weekend was just so nice. I hope you got out and enjoyed tomorrow morning. Maybe you're taking a jog. Look at the number 67 degrees. That'll be the temp at six o'clock in the morning, 68 by seven, and then we're going to start rebounding the numbers a little bit. Eight, nine o'clock, nothing but sunshine, eventually warming up into the seventies and your day for your Tuesday breaks down like this 79 degrees by one o'clock in the afternoon. I anticipate temperatures topping out probably somewhere in the you know, mid to low 80s, a few clouds, partly cloudy. Yeah, there's a slight chance of a stray isolated sprinkle. Not a big deal. You can actually see a couple of them uh, up to the north on this particular map. What's going on in the big picture is we got this high pressure cell and it's going to be our dominant weather feature, keeping us dry for the most part. It's got these winds that are from the north and that is that relatively dry air. So when we look at our muggy meter, well, tonight it is just comfortable. Tomorrow, maybe a kiss of humidity. Uh, same thing with Wednesday, just a little bit humid. And then Thursday, we start to go up humid to muggy but I don't see anything in the oppressively humid uh, category like we've had as of late. All right, so let me show you some of the numbers in our area and what these numbers are, are the temperatures that are going to be around for our day tomorrow. High temperatures are looking like they're going to be somewhere in the 80 degree range or so. Well, maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Tell you what, walk on over here with me. I want to show you what's going on in the tropics because we have a brand new tropical system that will be around. It's Ernesto. We've been watching this because as of 5 p.m. today, there was the brand new update. It is now the fifth name storm of the season, and we have winds right now that are a little bit elevated into the tropical storm ca uh, category at 40 miles per hour. It's racing along, though, at the out of the west, anywhere between about 25 to 30 miles per hour. Couple things we're going to focus on. Puerto Rico is going to be one of them, and then Bermuda will be another one later in the week and into the weekend. Here is the latest track. It goes over Puerto Rico and then starts taking that turn up to the north, as you can see. And by the end of the week, it's going to be very close to Bermuda. Forecast to be a category two storm, perhaps a category three storm. It has Bermuda has not had to deal with this since uh, Paulette back in 2020. And what you're looking at now are these what are called spaghetti chart lines. And these lines show different models in the general direction. Notice the consensus pretty solid taking it that direction, but there are a handful. They kind of want to bring it out this way. They are outliers. We're going to watch that, but on the heels of Debbie that we had last week, we definitely don't want any kind of tropical system in our area. All right, so let's talk about the seven day forecast temperatures in the 80s, 83 degrees tomorrow, as you mentioned, or as I mentioned, 86 on Wednesday, Thursday and Friday into the upper 80s. Generally speaking, dry the next few days. And I say generally speaking because we can't rule it's like a 10% chance a stray light sprinkle here and there. If you happen to be outside and you get one of those, it'll pass right on by. No storms, nothing like that. And then into the weekend, this is where it gets unsettled into your Saturday, Sunday and Monday tracking the potential for those showers and storms up until then. I don't see it. Maybe we're going to get close to 90 degrees by Thursday, Friday, but at this point we don't have any 90s here in the forecast. We've had 30 so far this year. That's where the forecast guys back over to you.